Hi, Amelia from BitScout and in this video I wanted to show you how you can extract information from CVs. Uh, there are a lot, when you publish a job position, many people send you CVs and it's very kind of time consuming to read all, through all of that. So we created a plugin uh, that is now a part of the template, so you don't even have to set up it in a special way. Uh, that is called CV analysis. It will extract uh, information from a PDF where the CV is uh, uh, saved. Now, what you need to do is go to templates and find here CV analysis and press use template. The next uh, um, thing that you need to do is uh, to choose where you want data to appear. In this example, we will use make uh, to extract data, so we don't even need to set these things up. Uh, and in the next step, you need to specify the plugin name. Let's say CV analysis, I will put us. And then you can add CVs and some tags. And now the plugin is created. Here it is. Now you can use it in your tool uh, to extract data from PDFs. So let's do that. So now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use make to analyze our CVs. And in this example, I am just uh, assuming that the CVs will appear in a Dropbox folder. Uh, just to show you how the rest of the things work. And then what you need to do is you need to create a link that uh, BitScout can read. And as easy as that, let's use BitScout application. And we will need to run a workflow for a file. Okay, so I need to choose my connection. And then we've just created a plugin that is called CV Analysis. And that's the plugin we're going to use. And we just need a link to a file, which is in this case, download URL, download URL, very important. And that's it. This is uh, uh, our scenario. The next step is to write the CV to some tool. Okay, but let's first test it. Let me load the file into a CV. Okay, let me drop here. So this is my CV, mm, old one and uh, just load it into Dropbox. So let's run our scenario to see uh, what happens. Okay, we get got the file. And now BitScout is analyzing the CV. Okay, let's see what we have here. All right, so this is, so this is how the CV works. Next step is to write it somewhere. So now let's set up where we want this information to appear. Mm, I will write it into two places. Uh, first of all, for that I need a router. And I will write it to Airtable and to Google Sheet, just to show you the flexibility. But if you're using Make, uh, you already know about that. So let's choose Airtable. And we'll need to create a record in in our new base that I called CV example. And there is one, just one table. Okay, so it's easy. You just need to map the fields. And these are our fields that will have a name, current, sorry, current job title. And just continue mapping those. So here we are. And let's add in the Google Sheet. So let's uh, create a row. And now we need to choose the spreadsheet. Okay. Uh, I have a spreadsheet created for that. It's called CV examples. And I have not prepared any kind of uh, formatting for the spreadsheet, just values, but you can do that. It's uh, also very easy. And you just map in whatever format you want. So let's just map field by field. Okay. And now we need to run it once again. Mm, so I'll just update the file name to trigger that it's a new file. And just run it. And meanwhile, I will open my air table. <coughs> CV example. Okay, all right, so here it is, all the data, and 
here it is all the data and that's it now you can load as many cvs as you want and this is the information we'll extract and if you need other data in the cv uh, you can uh, ask us a question because there are some other fields that we are preparing uh, to add but also you can do more things like uh, extract keywords from skills and this will add you extra analysis so you just go here create a plugin and keywords and choose cv and that's it you also don't need if you use it for make you don't need that but if you use it for other tool you need to write data the keywords somewhere uh, but then you have keywords from cv and you can add another module here from bitscout that will analyze the keywords from skills and this will allow the system to extract certain keywords that you can search for or use them as tags for example okay and that's it and you can add more and more analysis so this is how it works and uh, if you have any questions feel free to ping us thank you